Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be discussing some MCQs from the topic microscopy from AS level biology 9700. Let's start. MCQ number 6. The diagram shows a high power drawing of a plant cell. The actual length of cell between X2Y or X and Y was 160 micrometers. So guys, actual length from X to Y or between X and Y is 160 micrometers. What do we need to find? What is the magnification of the cell? So we need to find the magnification of the cell. And for that, what we need to do is that we need to take a scale and measure the image length from X till Y. So when we measure the image length, we get 80 millimeters or 8 centimeters. Now we need to find the magnification. The formula of magnification is equals to image length divided by actual length. The image length over here is 80 millimeters. We need to convert this into micrometers by multiplying by 1000. You need to know that whenever you want to go from millimeter to micrometer, you multiply by 1000, right? So 80 into 1000 uh, makes 80 millimeter or we can say 80 into 1000 converts millimeter to micrometer, right? Divided by 160 micrometer. So by this way, we can get the magnification. The magnification will be into 500 or 500 times. The answer is C. Let's move on to the next MCQ. That is MCQ number 11. A specimen is viewed under a microscope using green light with a wavelength of 510 nanometers if the same specimen is viewed under the same conditions but using a red light with a wavelength of 650 nanometer instead what effect will this have on the magnification and on the resolution of the microscope guys you need to know that if we are changing the wavelength there is no change on the magnification magnification depends on the lens that we are using so magnification depends on the lenses uh, it depends on the type of objective lens that we are using. It depends on the type of eyepiece lens that we are using. Magnification does not depend on the wavelength. However, resolution depends on the wavelength. So if we talk about the resolution, then what are we doing that we have increased the wavelength. And whenever you increase the wavelength, resolution decreases. So the answer is D. Let's move on to the next MCQ. MCQ number 15. The diagram is a drawing made from an electron micrograph showing a cross section of an alveolus and two adjacent capillaries. What is the shortest distance traveled by an oxygen molecule diffusing from the alveolar air space into one of the red blood cells? So guys, in this question, they are asking us about the actual shortest distance that the oxygen molecule is traveling while diffusing from the air in the alveolus into the red blood cell so you need to know that over here in the alveolar air space we have the air and this is the boundary of the alveolus right so we need to find the shortest distance the shortest actual distance that the oxygen molecule is traveling so for example over here is the oxygen molecule and oxygen molecule will travel from the air into the red blood cell so guys this is the shortest distance that the oxygen molecule can travel but over here this is the image that we have and it is 2500 times magnified so whenever we if we measure this length right if we measure this length this will be the image length right this will be the image length i so when we will measure this length using the ruler that will be 2.5 centimeters sorry, 0 0.25 centimeters or 2.5 millimeters, right? The magnification is 2500. We can use the formula magnification is equals to image length divided by actual length to find out the actual length. So actual length is equals to image length divided by magnification. Um, the image length is 2.5 millimeters in 2000 because we need to convert this into micrometers the magnification is 2500 if we divide uh, 2.5 into 1000 by 2500 we will get the 
answer that is 1.0 micrometers so 1.0 micrometers or a is the shortest distance the shortest actual distance that the oxygen molecule will travel when it diffuses from the air in the alveolus to the red blood cell so this is the red blood cell let's move on to the next mcq that is mcq number 17 a plan diagram is made of a transfer section of a leaf which features should be seen in the diagram so guys uh, whenever we draw a plan diagram we need to know that in the plan diagram we just draw the boundaries or outlines of the tissues we don't draw cells and we don't draw cell organelles for example if i'm drawing a plan diagram of a transfer section of the leaf i will just draw the outlines of the tissues for example i will draw a parepidermis like this just the outline of the tissue or the boundary boundaries of the tissue then i will draw the palisade mesophyll layer like this then spongy mesophyll layer like this and then the lower epidermis so this is upper epidermis right and this is the palisade mesophyll and this one is the spongy mesophyll and this one is the lower epidermis and obviously in the center we will have a vascular bundle right so always remember this point that whenever we are drawing a plan diagram we don't draw cells we just draw the outlines or the boundaries of the tissues so they're asking that if you're drawing a plan diagram what features or which features should be seen in the diagram so you need to show the overall distribution of the tissues that how tissues are distributed just like i have shown over here you will show the relative thickness of the tissue layers just like i have shown that uh, upper epidermis is thinner than the parasite mesophyll so you have to show the relative thickness of the tissues and you have to show the overall distribution of the tissues you don't show cells so you will not show cells which contain chloroplasts right so the answer is a one and two let's move on to the next mcq that is mcq number 19 which cell structure can be seen only with an electron microscope so you need to know that cell surface membrane has a width of 7.0 nanometers and light microscope can only be used to view the structures which are greater than 200 nanometer in size so cell surface membrane can only be seen using an electron microscope and not the light microscope because light microscope can only be used to see structures which are greater than 200 nanometers in size whereas electron microscope can be used to see the structures which have a size greater than 0.5 nanometers so cell surface membrane with a size of 7 nanometer will be visible using electron microscope but not using the light microscope if we talk about the chromosome nucleolus vacuole they are visible using both light microscope and electron microscope so cell surface membrane is the only structure which is which can only be seen with an electron microscope so the answer is a let's move on let's discuss mcq number 36 the diagram shows an electron micrograph of a virus particle or of virus particles in a human nucleus what is the diameter of the labeled virus particle so guys they want you to find out the actual diameter of the virus particle magnification is given and you have the image what you can do you can take the scale and measure the image length of this virus particle so when you do this you will get 3.6 millimeters or 0 0.36 centimeters so what you can do you can use the formula magnification is equals to image length divided by actual length and you will rearrange the formula actual length is equals to image length divided by magnification image length over here is 3.6 millimeter you will multiply it by 1000 to convert this into micrometers and then you will divide by 24000 which is the magnification when you do this the answer that you will get is 0 0.15 micrometers and if you convert this into standard form this will be 1.5 into 10 raised to the power minus one micrometers but this is not in the options so what you can do you can try converting this into nanometers so you will multiply by thousand again and the answer that answer that you will get is 1.5 into 10 raised to the power 2 nanometers which is in the option and the answer is d let's move on to the next mcq 
that is MCQ number 39. Which size ranges can be viewed using a light microscope? So you need to know that if um, any structure is greater than 200 nanometer in diameter, it will be visible using the light microscope. So you can you cannot observe this range under the light microscope because it's from 100 to 1 micrometer. You cannot observe 1, that is 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer. You cannot observe 100 nanometer to 1 micrometer because uh, the range should start from 200 nanometer, right? So you can observe 3 and 4, that is 1 micrometer to 100 micrometer and 1 micrometer to 1 millimeter. The answer is D. Let's move on to the next MCQ that is 41. A light microscope is used to observe two membranes that are 200 nanometers apart. How far apart are the membranes when the objective lens is changed from low power into 40 to high power into 400? So guys, you need to know that the distance between the membrane will not change if you change the lens. Simply, you will get a magnified image, but the distance between the membrane stays the same. So if the membranes were 200 nanometer apart, they will still, they will still be 200 nanometers apart. So you need to be very, very careful. The object size, the actual size does not change. You simply get a magnified image when you change the magnification. Let's discuss MCQ number 46. At approximately which magnification is light microscopy not suitable because the resolution becomes too low? So guys, the answer is 1500 times. So when you uh, bring the magnification to 1500 times or uh, when you exceed the magnification above 1500 times, the image becomes blurred because resolution becomes too low. So the answer is D. Let's move on to the next MCQ that is MCQ number 50. The electron micrograph shows a cell. What is the actual diameter of the nucleus? So if we measure the nucleus using a ruler, so we will get 30 millimeters, right? 3 centimeters or 30 millimeters. And we can use the formula magnification is equals to image length divided by actual length. And we can rearrange the formula actual length is equals to image length divided by magnification. We need to find the actual diameter and oh, this is 30 millimeter is the image diameter or the image length. So obviously we will convert this into micrometers 30 into 1000 divided by magnification that is 5700 times. So if we solve this, we will get the answer that is 6 micrometers.